I don't know about you, but these telemarketers that call my house at eight o'clock worry the dickens out of me. I mentioned this to my neighbor James Earl the other day. He said he doesn't get too bothered with them as much as he used to. Says he has a few things he says to them that sort of turns the table on them. Things like, after a lady telemarketer gives her sales pitch, he asks her to marry him. He tells her he couldn't give his credit card number to a complete stranger, so she needs to marry him or something. Or when a telemarketer asks, how are you doing today? James Earl says, I am so glad you asked because nobody seems to care about me and I have all these problems. My arthritis is acting up again and my eyebrows are sore. My dog just died and I just lost my job. How you doing? <laughs> well, if one of those telemarketers for a telephone company calls and asks to sign him up for the family and friends plan, he says, I don't have any friends. Will you be my friend? Well, and if, if they want to loan him money, he says, boy, am I glad you called. I just filed for bankruptcy and I sure could use some money. And he tells the telemarketer that he's on home incarceration and ask him if they can bring him a case of beer and maybe some potato chips. And he asks him to talk very slowly because he wants to write down every word. Well, according to James Earl, he might get a few of these types of calls now, but the number of them is going down. They might call, but they generally won't call back. I'm Jim Ritchie. I'll see you again next time.